Man, so we got a crazy, crazy week um, out here in LA, you know. It's always like that. Anytime we're in town, we got a lot going on. But this week specifically is gonna be huge. It's big, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, we on the rise. My girl Jones is out here too in LA, you know. So when we both out here, we be moving and shaking. Yeah, man, so, you know, with the events, with the shows, the meetings and stuff like that, you know, got a big week. Like I said, we finna get to it, you know, but hey, ain't got much time left to talk. We in the city now. We got to get to it. We got to go. So, hey, I'm finna hit the streets. Joey is so dope. Um, actually, I made the introduction already um, to talking about you yeah. to him, and he wants to do some stuff with the Recording Academy. Uh, he, he works with Janet. Mm -hmm. He works with Parkwood. I've known him for about like 10 or 11 years now. And uh, he does a lot of marketing. He wants okay. to do some marketing for my project coming up. And oh, yeah. I know he'll be able to help us with like other artists as well. I'm really excited about like the other insight, you know, knowledge that he brings to the table. He right. can really help us behind the scenes with a lot of these artists. I get to meet with Joey Harris. He works with Janet Jackson. He works with Parkwood Entertainment, which is Beyonce's entertainment company, record label. And I, um, Joey's a good friend of mine, so I am just excited to catch up with true friends in the industry. My name is Joey Harris. I'm from New York City, born and raised Upper West Side. Moved to LA about two and a half years ago, so really happy to be here. I've been in the music business for 25 years. Uh, I've been blessed to work at a ton of labels and with a ton of incredible artists. I love helping to develop artists, and that's how we connect, me and Jones connected. Brielle introduced me to several incredible artists, um, some of them Jenna Rose and Tori Kay and Rhea, and just a lot of incredible talent out of Dallas. So they brought me in to help develop them and give them new opportunities. So. I would take them to New York and have them work with the top vocal coaches and the top choreographers and creative directors and stylists and hair and makeup. You know, people who've worked with everyone from Beyonce to Rihanna to um, Janet Jackson. So they got to work with the best of the best. Oh my God, can you believe I came out with Kool-Aid? Ooh, I love Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> it's my fave. I was not expecting that, but... This is crazy. It is excellent. My assets like Kool-Aid. My trust fund don't trust none. My cash flow said who they. Ray Charles said break one, so I break record, not did it. Risk game on hot lane, not break the banks, not do that. My risk game on that net bank. My assets like Kool-Aid. My trust fund don't trust none. Now it's time to toast to you. Congratulations. I mean, the music is fire. Super excited. You know, Salute. come on, Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid. <laughs> um, but. Aside from all that, because all we do is talk about business, like, and I know that's what drives us, and we've been working together for so many years, but how are you doing? Like, what's going on with Brielle? Like, how's, how are you personally? That's a loaded question. The only thing really stressing me out, you know I have the company still. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, I'm dropping my records, but I still have the school, and I have the artist development company, and they are stressing me the I already know. <laughs> uh -huh. How many? How many people? Now we went back to like a waiting list per se. Wow. And so because this year we only decided to take six clients. Like I want to partner with some dope entities. Got them some super dope stuff. Like working with um, Eclipse Darkness, um, Gregory Coney for Sync. Mm -hmm. So like we. Eclipse is my boy. He's so dope. <laughs> we went to BMG. Yeah. So it was super dope. So how, we, how was that? It was so cool. I know they loved it. I still got my makeup on for my video shoot, so I was not trying to be looking <laughs> like this. I was just... <laughs> but it was some really nice guys. They took us up to the studio, showed us around. I know he's finishing up some albums. Uh, he did like an um, artist spotlight with them. We were actually going to bring some clients to it. But they messed it all up. They were tripping. What they... happened? <laughs> What's the tea? <laughs> <laughs> they were tripping. I don't think, I think, <sighs> they just don't understand how the industry works. They don't understand. It's, I think it's a lack of education. I also think it's some impatience. of the impatience, the not even realizing they were people. You know, because we, we do so much for them that like you don't get paid for it. You know my mama. 
<laughs> she was like, gratitude, appreciation, I think you take you long. Unfortunately, a lot of artists don't care about that. There, there are some, some artists I work with that show appreciation, but you know, I learned that I can't take it personal if an artist doesn't say they appreciate you or say thank you for things because they feel like you're providing a service and they're pay it, or, or if they're paying you or whatever it is, you're working for them. So it's a business and I just had to take it as, as long as they are paying on time, that payment is my thank you. This, this, this client didn't want to pay me either. Oh, then, then they got to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> pay me my Some, money. <laughs> I think of the only thing I have to do for my music. I feel like that's a big piece. Like I'm doing so much to support Kool-Aid. Like thank God, like I'm, cause I'm still, you know, technically independent. And I just happen to know a bunch of people in the industry on top of that. Like not happen, I'm working my entire life for it. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, okay, now I'm gonna put out this project. Why? Yeah, take advantage of all the connections you've made that's and all the, the relationships thing. you have. And... Nah, they said, we know these people too, thank you. I said, oh, okay, bless. Bless up. Nice. <laughs> oh, you got this though. Thank you. Don't let anyone break your soul. Oh, <laughs> you won't break my soul. Jones, Jones Monroe. Um, she's just like real, you know, like just so multi talented. I love when artists take their platform to help inspire other people, and I really love that. She had a, a great message in that song that so many people need to hear and that are gonna help them get through, you know, whatever difficulties that they're going through in life right now. At first, I will say I was a little nervous about, you know, her doing so many different types of music. But when I actually heard everything, I was like, she actually delivers in all the different genres that she's that she's doing. Kool-Aid, La Da I mean, incredible records. It's just really great music. She's got a lot of great songs that I think will do really well, so I'm super excited about helping her take all of that to the next level. Last but not least, man, Chronic Tacos. Shout out to Chronic Tacos. We got a grand opening in Pasadena. It's gonna be major. Got my guy Wee Man coming out. We're gonna do a meet and greet with him, um, giving out all kinds of prizes, you know, raffles, gifts, and things like that. So I'll be performing and doing a show. So y'all be ready for that. It's gonna be big. All right, man, I think uh, we almost ready to get this thing jumped off. Y'all having a good time? Yeah. Cause I like that I'm known to love it up and then we kick back Then it's back to the money cause I need that She say, you can spin it fast for me, can you do it? I say, I say, girl, I can't, ain't, ain't nothing to it Said it be bouncing the movie, nobody, I'm loving the way that she do it Watching it while I sit back and I'm thinking to myself, I gotta get to it I be getting to the money, but I never count it That girl's so official, she's my accountant Ah, man, being in L.A., I feel... So I'm already, you know, just eager to make things happen. Makes me feel right at home, honestly, you know, cause it's like breath of fresh air, I'm out here, you know, it's time to really get to the nitty gritty. So I feel good. I feel just naturally just moving with the energy within the city itself. So, you know, I always enjoy coming out here, man. Like I, I feel confident. Um, I feel like I'm on top of the world, honestly, you know? <laughs> so it's just like, LA, LA, LA. I'm thinking about moving back, but we will see. I'm gonna think about it. But it's just, it's just one of those spots, man, where you just, you get out here and you know something's gonna happen. You know, I'm big on manifesting. I see it, I feel it, I smell it. You know, I hear it, seeing the graffiti, seeing the murals, everything, you know, um, from some of the greats that come out the city and always moving around in the city. It's just like, this is where I belong. This, this is my place. Like a flame in the 
and them boys dressed in black, 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 Oh, I like that And they ain't even tripping Cause I like that I'm known to live it up And then we kick back Then it's back to the money Cause I need that She say, you can spit it fast For me, can you do it? I say, I say, girl, I can't Ain't, ain't nothing to it Said it be bouncing I'm moving that body I'm loving the way that she do it Watching it while I sit back And I'm thinking to myself I gotta get to it I be getting to the money But I never count it That girl so official She's my accountant Lost a couple bills But I think I